it's a fabulous question so it, it is going to take time to solve this so take that time let me get this find the sum of the elements of a finite sequence of 16 numbers such that it reads the same from left to right the sum of any seven consecutive terms is minus one the sum of any 11 consecutive terms is plus one I'm going to write this expression down. So this is a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, a7, a8, a9, a10, a11, a12, a13, a14, a15, a16, a17, a18, a19, a20, a21, a22, a23, a24, a25, a26, a27, a28, a29, a30, a31, a32, a33, a34, a35, a36, a37, a38, a39, a40, a41, a42, a43, a44, a45, a46, a47, a48, a49, a50, a51, a52, a53, a54, a55, a56, a57, 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 a
A11 should be A. A6 and A11 should be same. This is also A. So R sequence is AA, B, triple A, B, double A, B, triple A, B, double A. It has only A's and B's sitting inside. Only two numerical values, but in this sequence. So now what do we do? Very simple. Sum of any seven consecutive terms. That is this seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is 5a plus 2b is minus 1. 11 consecutive terms. To this we are adding this. 6a, 7a, 8a plus 3b. 8a plus 3b is 1. So let's write this down. Oops. 5a plus 2b is minus 1. 8a plus 3b is 1. With this, we solve for this, we'll get a and b. I'm going to multiply this by 3. So we get 15a plus 6b is minus 3. Multiply this by 2. 16a plus 6b is 2. Subtract 1 from the other, we get a is 5. 5 into 5, 25. 25 plus 2b is minus 1. 2b is minus 26, b is minus 13. Or our expression is 5, 5, minus 13, 5, 5, 5, minus 13, and so on. We want to find some of the elements. So how many b's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 9a plus 4b in the system. 9 into 5 is, sorry, 16 numbers totally. 12a and 4b in the system. 12 into 5 is 60. Plus 4 into b is minus 52, which is 8. A wonderful question. Not easy, but not very difficult either. It's more like a logically constructing a puzzle. It is symmetric. So a1 is equal to a16, a2 equal to a15. Sum of any seven consecutive terms is minus 1. So every seventh term is equal every 11th term is equal. So a1 should be equal to a8, a1 should be equal to a12, a1 should be equal to a16. And then we make all the a's and all the b's. So we effectively boil down to only a's and b's in this entire sequence. Two equations, two variables, we are done.